and stretch. So I need four dice. If you don't have four dice, I have a website that you can play four dice. So I'm going to do the first round. You will play against another player or you'll have a team and the other side there will be another team. For the very, very first round, I'm going to be a blue team and my opponent will be a red team. So I'm going to roll my dice first. One, six, five, one. I quickly record one, six, five, one. Good. One, six, five, one. I'm going to use these four numbers using plus, minus, multiplication or division to make a number on the 100 chart. So I'm going to make a larger number. Let's go with, I'm going to add one and one. And you have to record your calculation. Well, this one is two. I'm going to do two and a five. Two times five is a 10. Right, I have a new six. I'm going to need six times ten. That is sixty. This is my starting counter. This is my starting counter. Sixty. Wait, sixty right there. Okay. Now then, red team team's turn. Red team. They do the same thing. I'm just pretending I'm the red team this time. Roll again. Oops. Two, four, five, six. So two, four, five, six. This is red team. Two plus four is six. Five times six is thirty. 6 plus 30 is 36. That is the beginning counter for the red team. 36. Right there. To win the game, you have to make a long straight line. If I'm a red team, from 36, the aim is to make a straight line Horizontally, vertically, or diagonally, right? Now it's second round. The second round has a small restriction here. Now, it's blue team's turn. The blue team can only place the counter, the next counter, around the blue counter or around the red counter. So if I want to extend my line to have a longer line to win, I'm going to place my number around here. If the red team is doing really well, I'm going to place my blue counter to disturb the line. Does it make sense? So I can only make 25, 26, 27, 35, 37, 45, 46, 47, or 49, 50, 59, 69, or 70. That's a tricky bit. So let's roll four dice to start with. Roll. Four, three, four, two. Four, three, four, two. Now let's do this. Four, four, three, four, two. It's a lot easier if you're looking at the game board. And from here, second round, you have only a one minute. If it's too difficult, you can have two minutes. And if you have more players, it's a lot easier to find the number around the, the place counters. So, uh, I'm going to disturb the number, so four. So I'm going to add four plus four equals eight. Then eight and this three 
8 times 3 equals 24. Right? Then I'm going to add 24 and a 2 is 26. 26, I can disturb that player. Got the idea? It's now red team's turn. We keep doing this. Whoever player or team gets the longer line at the end of the game is the winner. Right. There's a timer as well you can play. You can use your mobile phone to time each other. Or you can simply use a clock or a stopwatch. Now, if you are in a grade 5 or grade 6, I would give you a restriction. For example, if you have 3, 6, 2, 5, you must put these numbers in one equation or number sentence. So, what, you did, what I did before, for example, Things like this. Is now not allowed. So. You have to put this in one number sentence. Ready for it? So instead of having it like this. 3 times 6. Plus 2 plus 5. That's 18 plus 7. Is 25. You have to have the whole thing in one equation or one number sentence. Does it make sense? If you want to make this even harder, if you roll four numbers and if you have the same number more than once, for example, like this. Now you're not allowed to change the order of the numbers. So you cannot go, I'm going to put these two together. No, you're not allowed. You have to operate everything in order. And if you're in year five and six, you have to put this in one number sentence. I'm going to have, I'm going to add these together. And I'm going to multiply. And if I want to have seven first, you have to put them in the brackets. Now, do you know how to do you know the order of order of operation? That's seven, and you have to do multiplication first before addition. Two times seven is fourteen, plus four is eighteen. That is the number you can use. When you play like this, I would recommend you to play as a team. Got the idea? Well, this game is, this is a great game for grade five and six if, when they're practicing the order of, order of operation. So have fun.